Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions and decimals on a number line. This is standard 4.3G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 6 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So it seems pretty simple here. We've got four number lines. They all go from 0 to 2. We need to find where point x is 1 and 3 tenths. So let's just build a little place value right there. This is our 1's place. And then we've got our tenths. That's the first location after the decimal point when we're looking at place value. So 1 and 3 tenths, which means it's going to be between 1 and 2. So Think of it kind of like this. We've got 1, and then 1 and 3 tenths, and it kind of sits in between these two. Not exactly halfway through, but it's between those two. And if that doesn't make sense, what we could do is we can always just take the decimal away. You can see how 10, 13, 20 kind of acts that same way. Now, obviously, this 1.3 is going to be a little bit closer to the 1.0, because 13 is a little bit closer to 10 than it is to 20 but it's going to sit right in between those two. Now let's take a look at our number lines here. So these number lines all look like they're marked the same way. Let's count how many spaces they have in between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are tenths. So each of these little marks are going to represent a tenth. And so if we wanted to label them right, we could do 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 all the way up to 1. And we could, do, we could repeat the same thing if we wanted to. So let's take a look at this F right here. So here's my 1. And this first one is a 1.1. So it's sitting right between 1 and 1.1. If I were to go 1.2, 1.3 that's sitting right there. That's really kind of what I'm looking for. So F is wrong, but what does F represent? And if we could pinch and kind of zoom into right here, this is probably what we see. Let's take a look. I'm going to just draw a representation of that right here. So we've got our 1, and we've got our 1.1, and that X is sitting right around there. If we kind of zoom in from there into right there, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and make this a 1.0. And let's just go ahead and make, actually, let's, let's add that. Because you know what? When we're looking in between tenths, that means we're really going to the hundredths spot. That's that next spot over that hundredths. And so this looks like this is almost a 1.03. So it looks like this is 1 and 3 hundredths. We're looking for 1 and 3 tenths. So they just gave us a good representation of the wrong place value. That's what I bet you that is, that 1 and 3 hundredths. So G here looks like we make two jumps that are uneven, so we're going to make a big jump to 1. And then we've got 3 tenths after that. And if we add those two together, we will get our 1.3. So G is looking good. Let's see what we do with H and J, because they're not just going to give us random numbers. They're going to give us numbers that are close, but just incorrect. And let's, you know, let's pinch in, let's zoom in right there again. Let's do what we did last time. And it's between that first and that second pip. So that's going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And since it's between the tenths, let's go to the hundredths spots. And it looks like it's kind of in that same spot as that other one was up on F obviously just between two different numbers. You know what that is? Tenths and twentieths. There we go. Look at that. That's They gave us thirteen hundredths. So they gave us the one and the three, but they just gave us thirteen hundredths. And then I'm not sure what this is. This is three tenths, six tenths. This is nine tenths. This is just some kind of randomness there. But J is definitely not going to work for us. So we are looking here at G, because that's where X is going to be 1 and 3 tenths.